a THOG video. Hi, I'm Mike and today is the big day of the latest transatlantic debate. Which is better, the UK or the US political system? I'm putting forward the case for the UK. I'm gratified to have that opportunity and I hope you enjoy this video. The democracy for the UK began 800 years ago with the signing of the Magna Carta by King John. It handed off power away from the monarch to barons who um, owned, controlled the land in the UK. And th this movement of power, this was really the start of the movement of power away from the monarch. Um, and over the centuries, Parliament formed and has evolved into its current structure. We have two houses, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Power is held by the Cabinet, which is led by the Prime Minister. Um, a important difference between the UK and the US political system is that any actions taken by the Cabinet must, in most cases, be agreed by Parliament by a majority vote. With the US instead, there's a separation of powers. The US um, President, as an example, only attends and addresses the Senate once a year, whilst the Prime Minister of the UK is much more active, he's an active member of Parliament, he or she, was, he or she, and as a result he's held more to account by Parliament. This also means that the UK system isn't as hamstrung as the US one is. In the US, the President can find it difficult to push through any new legislation if the Senate is not controlled by his own party. Whilst in the UK, typically the, the Prime Minister is from the party with the majority and as a result they can um, push through their legislation and it makes the process a lot more straightforward. Whilst there is the opposition there to argue and to make the case for other actions and to hold the government to account, ultimately those laws can be pushed straight through providing that the majority party all vote in the same way. The UK doesn't have a constitution in the same way that the US does. Instead, our constitution is made up of all of the different Acts of Parliament which have been passed over the years. This makes the UK system actually more flexible because we can change bits of our constitution by a new Act being passed by a majority vote. The American constitution, on the other hand, is Let's be honest, it's virtually impossible to change. Um, Americans, and it's a, it's a positive thing, I think, of, of Americans. They take being American a lot more to heart than we probably take being British to heart. Um, a constitution is a big thing for them. Um, ask any sort of British person how many acts of parliament we can name. A few, not many, whilst I would suspect a lot of Americans will be able to <coughs> tell you what each amendment stands for, or you know, a good chunk of them at least. But, because of that, the American Constitution is virtually impossible to change, despite some parts of it, you know, if it is outdated, I am not an expert on the American Constitution, obviously, but it obviously started a number of you know, decades, a number of centuries ago, if there's parts which might be slightly outdated now, getting those things updated is not easy. Um, I don't think it's been since the 70s that any real change has been made to the constitution, except maybe possibly one technical change, but that's it. Um, and of course one of the other things is we've, we've retained our monarchy. The UK is a constitutional monarchy, and whilst power is traditionally exercised by the PM, Cabinet and Parliament. Um, the retention of the monarchy, I believe, provides a type of stability to the government. The, the current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, she's been, um, in her reign, she's had 12 different British Prime Ministers. She holds an audience on a weekly basis with the current Prime Minister. And I believe she's able to share her wisdom from, the, from past decades with the current government. Um, she does in that in that audience, she expresses her views on government matters, it's her duty to do that, so it, it does, again it's a different way of holding the government to, to account. I hope this 
fairly brief vlog has shown you why the Westminster system, which has been replicated across the world, is the better of the two systems. But, for the sake of completeness, do check out my blog, froggy.blogspot.com. There will be links in the description, hopefully, yeah. And also do check out Tim Clark's blog and vlog. Actually, don't know if it's a vlog, some kind of video. I've not seen it yet, it's going to be exciting. Tim is pushing for the US case. Tim's a great guy. Um, I certainly hope that I win, but if I don't, I can understand why, because Tim's pretty good too. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye.